Hi, I'm Mark with Suncoast Equine here in Western Florida. Here at Suncoast Equine, we provide training for both horses and riders. One of the most important tips is never ride alone. You're less likely to become a victim of a crime or an attack if you're riding in a group. One tactic that the bad guys will use is try to get the rider off of the horse. They may try to spook the horse so the rider becomes unseated. Once the rider's on the ground, he's much easier victim. There the, the point was that the rider kept the horse facing the bad guy. The bad guy is less likely to have an opportunity to grab the rider's leg or any of the tack of the horse as long as the head is facing the bad guy. On the trail, you may encounter people who just want to come up and be friendly, or at least that's what you think. So he comes up and starts petting the horse, gets into a conversation with you, and the next thing you know, the rider has no control over the horse. So if you're going to use these snaps, we suggest that you take wire ties and clip around each snap so a bad guy could not easily unsnap them. Another tip is to make sure that you have some type of a signaling device when you're on the trail. So you can signal help if you need it, whether it's to try to scare off a perpetrator, or if you become unseated and on the ground, you can whistle and people can hear you. But be careful when you decide to use a signaling device such as a whistle that you have to desensitize the horse to the whistle. Make sure that he's not going to react negatively to the whistle when you do blow it. And also, if you're with another group, make sure that the other horses in the group also uh, are desensitized to the use of a whistle.